it was like at seven in the morning and I like to sleep in, especially in the hospital. I mean, what else is there to do? So I'm sleeping and they, I'm on the, the stupid machine and they woke me up, turn on lights at seven in the morning and I'm like, oh, turn off the freaking light. I'm dying, just let me sleep at least. They're like, wake up. Time to wake up. You gotta wake up now. We got new lungs. Call your family, call your friends, whatever you need to do. And I thought I was dreaming or this is some kind of joke or hoax or like, but it was real. I mean, it was just like, what the heck? It was all real. It was all happening. They're like, get ready. Four o'clock, we're taking you down. It's been uh, six months since this transplant and I have never felt any better my whole entire life. It's like being a normal person. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I remember clear as crystal watching the 1989 Batman and Batman Returns because Michael Keaton, in my opinion, is my Batman, you know, he's totally awesome. But yeah, I remember vaguely watching those movies when I was really little and, and then the animated series. I just remember watching this Batman and just becoming obsessed with him and then like I started drawing him when I was really little and then now you know, I can actually draw them and make them look like Batman. I mean, before I was like a little kid drawing, you know. We had a really awesome art program in Emily City High School. Uh, Mr. Irwin was our teacher. Those four years in high school uh, in that art class, I just learned so much. It, be it really developed my skill. When I was in recovery in the hospital, I had to draw to keep my sanity. Once I was able to draw again, that's when things got a lot easier in the hospital because I would draw every day. I have talked at Gift of Life ceremonies and lots of people that I've known so far have already signed up to be organ donors. You know, maybe this whole experience can help other people. Like, oh, you know, that guy's really, really happy and his energy's really good and maybe that can inspire other people to do the same thing, you know. If I were to pass away, you know, I would want someone to to live on, you know, even though now I'm gone, you know, to have what I have so they can keep living. If any anybody like Michael Keaton or Adam West or Arnold Schwarzenegger is watching this, I would I would like to meet you. That'd be sweet. Or Ozzy Osbourne. I just probably won't understand what you're saying. <laughs>